Let's talk about what makes that foot turn out. It can be a little annoying when your foot turns out, but it can also be painful because it creates a twisting effect at the knee that can then also cause a compensation of the hip. So if your foot wants to turn out, that can turn into hip and knee pain. So let's talk about one of the muscle groups that is a driver for where that tibia is facing, and that is your hamstring. So you have a lateral hamstring and you have medial hamstrings, and they help to steer the lower leg. And so we can bias that through exercise. So what you wanna think about is when you work hamstrings, particularly these distal hamstrings, which is gonna be things like knee curls where you are bending your knee, you're gonna get a lot of distal hamstrings. You get proximal when you think about hinging and doing motion at the hip. So let's go ahead and give an example using uh, curls with the ball. So if you place your foot on the ball, you can either think about uh, like if I was on a stable bench or something and I was lifting, same concept. You can also put feet on the foam roller. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier, but I like the instability of the ball because it tends to bring in more muscles, which makes it harder for those dominant muscles to take over. But if you turn your feet out here for any hamstring work, so think about hamstring curls at the gym, anything you're doing, you're gonna be getting a, lateral, a lot of lateral hamstring, which is gonna be reinforcing that pattern. So if I do hamstring curls here, I am reinforcing that pattern. Now, if I turn my feet straight, would that be good enough to just do hamstrings with straight feet? Well, not really, because what I found is that once a muscle ends up taking over, it likes to continue taking over. So if you have a very lateral dominant hamstring, it's going to drive those feet out, but even if your feet are straight, it's still going to contract more and take more of the load. Being on the ball helps because of that instability is gonna make everything jump in, but it's still, if it's dominant, it's gonna wanna, it's gonna wanna kick in. So what you can do is grab something to squeeze between your knees. You can get a comfy ball or a block, anything that feels great. And then what I want you to think about doing is just kind of lining up nice and even as much as you can and let your big toes become friends. So I want you to let those big toes become friends, give the block a little bit of a squeeze, and then you can do your curls with that internal rotation bias. And what you might feel for the first time is those medial hamstrings more than the lateral. So this can be a great way to help drive that lower leg in with something that's gonna stay. Because if we just twist it and do mobs, it's just gonna go right back. We have to teach the muscles how to fire differently. And I am kind of all over the place because I am talking and not paying attention. But you get the idea. So when you are doing hamstring curl type exercises, be sure to turn those feet in if you have a tendency for your feet to turn out. And if you add a little bit of an adductor squeeze, that's gonna go ahead and say too to those medial hamstrings, like, hey, join in. Go ahead and help me out. We're muscle groups working together here. So give that a try and see if it doesn't help.